Hi Jason. Yeah. Thank, thank, thanks for you know, accepting the invite. Uh, the meeting for a while. So yeah. Um, wait. So this is Blades and Beer. I've had a couple of chats already. So definitely, obviously, the topic tonight are blades. Well, related to it because it's the Swiss Army knives and of course beers. Tonight I'll have Tiger beer. With you, ah, uh, highly can. All right, all right. So it's a good match. Chepe pang bubongas ko sa, di ba? Sakto, sakto. Angan sa, sakto. All right. Good, good. There you go. Victor, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Cool. All right. Then, like I've been following your post using my Instagram and I saw your huge collection of the sack. So okay, I saw what's happened about it. Eh. Like um one of the first questions probably is like what got you into Swiss Army knives? Simple as that. <laughs> okay, uh I'm I'm really into braids. Okay. Uh, but the Swiss Army knife is probably was probably my first knife. Okay. I've had the Swiss I've had a Swiss Army knife probably since grade, grade school. Of course, I've lost my knives over time. So, uh, from grade school to high school to college, I've had several Swiss Army knives and I've, I've lost them. Because dati, parang I just put the, put the entire thing in my pocket. Eh. Hindi yeah, pa uso yeah. pa kadi nung time na yan. Eh. Oh, siyempre. Um, um, what was your first ever? Uh, was the first ever Swiss Army knife uh, purchase or was it given to you? Given to me. Given to Still me by my you? father. No, what is that? It's a place that I have no knives. Ko eh. since, okay. yung mga since the knives that I've had since grade school, high school, college. I had one and then lost one. Fell out of the pocket. It, no? Was it a natural... Were you naturally drawn to it now because it was like something that uh, your dad gave you in the first place so you were interested to get more and more and more afterwards? Or was it something that interested you some other way? Like, for yeah, example, I mean, no, one of the first exposures ko at that time was MacGyver, of course, right? Yeah, we've already seen MacGyver. But the... But the collection factor never got into my mind at that time. At that time, it was it was an EDC. Yeah, I mean I brought it along because uh, it was useful. Scissor, spread. I mean, uh, these were things that you would need every day. So that was why I had this. That was that was why I always had the Swiss Army knife in my pocket. Okay. And that went on until med school and residency. And this one, this is my oldest knife. Okay. Uh, it's a climber. I, uh, but it only dates back to my residency days. So that was around two thousand six. Okay. That's it. And at that time, uh, I wasn't really interested in collecting Swiss Army knives yet. So, tool lang talaga siya ever since, no? as you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, there, there was a need for it. Uh, were you carrying other tools? Like, I'm a knife guy. You, you, you carried knife also with you? Aside from the Swiss or everything was with the sack already? I'm, no, I started carrying blades. Uh, other blades, I started carrying that um, around 2013. Okay. Spider Codelica. Mm. Nice. Alright, so, so uh, it was the utility talaga ever since. Uh, what brought you into suddenly wanting to collect all of the all of the variations and stuff? 
Well, I'm not really, well, it started when I started collecting breeds again, in general. When I started collecting breeds in general. Mm-hmm. So, I started with Filipino breeds, with the Ginunting. The Ginunting started it all. And then, uh, I moved to collecting knives from places I've been to. Okay. So, so like when 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 I when we went to Thailand, I was able to buy a dab. When we went to, uh, so when when we went to Italy, I was able to get some some Italian breeds. So when we went to Switzerland, you So uh, it, it's a trap. It's a yeah. damn trap. <laughs> so I I started with. When when I was there, I uh, I started buying the location knives. I see. Is that what they were called? Uh, they were no the place to be. The place to be. These were the place to be knives, and these were the ones that you could only buy in in the store where they were. Where they were okay. Where they were being sold. So for example. Ah, there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Zurich, Lucerne, and Brunei. So you could only buy this specific. Uh, you could only buy the those specific. Uh, those specific oh, breeds yeah. at the exact store. So there, there are others, but my Geneva, pa my, my Zurich Airport, but I wasn't able to get those. And uh, yun, at that, uh, I also grabbed some some other Alox breeds there. Mm. And it started. <laughs> yeah, <tuli-tuli na. laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. But that looks really good. Huh? Uh, were you able to see the factory there? Or not anymore? Not the factory, hmm. but the uh, the visitor center. Ah, yeah, so, yeah. okay lang ba mag-share screen? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so the the factory is actually in, it's in the town near Brunen, but the visitor center is in the is in the town of Brunen itself. And that is a few hours ride away from Lucerne where we stayed. So it's here. Uh, the visitor center had... Yan. The visitor center featured yung mga knife, wow. yung yung history, yung history oh ng mga Swiss Army knives nila. Yeah, so parang medyo for me for a for a breed in enthusiast, this is one of the places where you have to go to. So uh, they had pictures of their they, they had models of their uh, of their old breeds dating dating back to dating back to the very first. To the very first uh, soldier, which was released. So, yun. and it was there that I had my I custom I, I I assembled this myself. Yeah, yeah, you sent us photo. So, nice. so one of the one of the fun things to do there. Yeah. So this is it. Yeah, love that. <laughs> hand assembled by by myself yeah under their guidance at the uh, at the Brunen visitor center <laughs> one of the one of the ni- one of the really nice one of the really nice things to do there all right good that good that so yun like i said it's it's a trap parang Wherever you go, wherever you yeah. go, there is all there. They always they have even in the aside from the official Victorinox stores, all the souvenir stores have a Swiss Army knife. Have a, have a, have some form of Swiss Army knives for sale. So, uh, one of the things I really lucked out on, I I really got lucky there was when we went to, was when we went to uh. 
was when we were able to go to yung Frau Yok. So yung Frau Yok, that's they call it the top of Europe. It's they have the highest train station in Europe. So top of Europe, and there I was able to get this. Ah. Yeah. It's a. It's not officially. It's not. It's not an official. It's not officially listed among the among the models being sold by Victorinox. But uh, it's an unofficial series. So it's uh, this one. This one could only be found at that place, at the top of Europe. So. Uh, Yung Frau, yung Frau Yok, yung Frau Yok, uh, it's a, like I said, it's a train station, it's the highest train station, and it, and it connects three, three mountains of that area, in that area, Mount Iger, uh, Yung Frau, and Oger, and, sorry, Iger, Munch, and Yung Frau. So, uh, the scales of that were designed by the Swiss jeweler Edison. Ah, no wonder, it really looks like jewelry. Is that gold? No, it, no, it's not. It's just uh, well, probably gold plated. I, I'm not sure. It, they they didn't uh, they didn't specify. Okay, it looks engraved or yes, yes, it is. It, it is, is no? Yeah, yeah. It is engraved. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and at the back, so there's. It, uh, this is a series, and I've I've seen I've seen some uh, I've seen some models on the net uh, with with other places, and that's one one of the things I'd like to get. Because we stayed in Lucerne, so I'd like to get one. I'd like to yeah, get yeah. one. Uh, the one the one with Lucerne, and it had the sleeping lion of of Lucerne engraved on it. Nice. Yeah, actually, yeah. That's that's that's. You're describing a lot of these uh, models. One of the questions that I have, guys, right, like if you have a specific model that you're really after that uh, you haven't seen before, is there a specific, uh, I don't know, year or model that you're after? Na hindi mo pa yun Okay. Uh, to well, to control my collection, because I'm, co I'm collecting a lot of breeds, eh, as you can see from. Hmm. You can yeah, see I the background. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just I've been limiting my 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 Swiss Army knife collection to the pioneers. Ah, okay. And pioneers and places I've been to. I mean, uh, like although ito, I, I I bought I bought this after the fact, Japan. Yeah, you showed me that. I I want the whole set. <laughs> Japan, New Zealand. I mean, it's just hmm. yung ganun lang. Uh, not really a Swiss Army knife, but something I something I bought when we were in Finland. Anyway, uh, going back going back to that, I've been focusing on the pioneer. Okay. Uh, why the pioneer? It's it also has to do with the with what the pioneer is. The pilot, the first, the first knife, the first Swiss Army knife uh, made popularized was the soldier. So this is my, this is the soldier. It's my, it's my oldest breed, and the year, the year when it was made is engraved at the base. So this is a 19, 1944, 1944 soldier. So the soldier was, uh, this was what was uh, issued to the, uh, to the Swiss army at that time. Uh, Victorian Knox and Wenger had, uh, were issuing that to, to their soldiers. This was uh, edited up in 1961 into the more modern to the more modern uh more modern soldier uh, soldier yeah 
Alok Soldier. My particular model is a 1994 uh, 1994 Soldier. In general, this came without the keychain, without the keychain. Although certain models came out with the keychain. Uh, and you can distinguish them from the typical, from the tradition, from the ordinary, from the other Swiss Army knives by the logo, which was the logo of the Swiss Army itself, rather than the logo of the logo of Victorinox. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, so flatter yung, yung top, yeah, no? Yeah, yun yung difference. Yun, 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 well, one of the differences between the soldier and the uh, other breeds. So the soldier was what they gave, what was what they issued to the to the army. And this was eventually updated for more modern times into the modern soldier. So 2008 was when they was when they uh, updated it to make it one-handed one-handed. So this is the current soldier. This one is a 2015. Of course, for me, uh, for the soldier, I'd like to get one for my birth year. <laughs> of course, I haven't, yeah, yeah. Oh, I haven't found one yet. Pero yun, I, I'd like to get yeah. one, one for my birth year. Uh, so yun yung unicorn natin. Eh. Yeah, basically that's, it. basically that's it. Now, the pioneer right. is basically the same as the soldier. Same function. Uh, same braids. Same... Uh, same features. It's basically the same breed, except for the difference in the the difference in the logo and the uh, and the keychain. So, mm -hmm. which okay. is which is why I I start. I just yeah. focused on the release to why you like the pioneer. Yeah. yeah. So, kumbaga yung pioneer, yung civilian, yung civilian version. Uh -huh. <laughs> So in fellow, your collection over there, I can see it on your on your left hand side. Yeah, well, but well, what you see here is the non pioneer collection. Uh, sige, non -pioneer. Sige, sige. Okay. I'll, I'll start with the pioneers. Great. I start with yeah, the pioneers. <laughs> and they are on the they're on this side. So basic, standard silver. Yes. Standard black. Uh, <laughs> Green. Green looks good. Yeah. In 2015, uh, Victorinox started releasing the limited editions. Yes. So, and the 2015 one is one of the hardest to find. Uh, what color code is uh, this? This had a specific color name. I forgot, but they 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 would only issue one one color per year. Yeah. So I had I had the 2015. 2015. Yeah. 16. 2015. 16. 17. Ah yeah, we have the same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Okay. So 17. 18 is very red. Yeah. 19 is the gold one. And then twenty twenty. And Dito ako na is uh Victorinox. They discontinued the pioneer ah. sa limited edition nila. So twenty twenty one. So sa twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Hindi na siya Pioneer, but the Pioneer X. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, for those not in the know, the, pion the difference between the two is that the Pioneer X has a scissors as compared to the uh -huh. traditional Pioneer. Okay. okay. So yun yung, yun yung pagkaiba ng, yun yung pagkaiba ng uh, Pioneer, Pioneer sa Pioneer X. Okay. Yeah, as a matter of fact, yung, yung Pioneer X is my current EDC. Kasi ang, ang, ang hirap na yun eh. I mean, uh, because of the pandemic, I've been going out in scrubs rather than usual civilian attire. 
so I'm not wearing jeans. I'm wearing I'm wearing scrub pants, and other breeds get heavy to carry. So I just I just carry my yeah. I just carry this and and a classic attached to my keychain, attached to my car keys. Mm. SD. So yun yun yung yun yung PDC ko ngayon. So uh well that's almost it for the pioneers. Aside from the limited editions, in 2000, yeah, 2016 to 2019, uh, Victorinox had a collaboration with Nespresso. So the, uh, the aluminum capsules used by Nespresso for their coffee were, were recycled into scales for the Alex. Okay. So, which is why we have we have the we have we have, which is why we have the Nespresso series. Yes. And the and the uh the colors are named after the coffee. So, na nakalimutan ko yung pangalan ng nakalimutan ko yung pangalan ng pan ng pang Ah, yeah. So this is the Arpeggio, and 2017 is the Vivanto. Again, Nespresso and Darkan and Inja. So ito, I, ito. These were some of the breeds that I. These were some of the breeds that I bought when I was when I was in Switzerland. Okay. So after that, hinabul ko na lang yung mga ita. Oh, yung iba na wala pa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's it for the. Uh, that's it for the pioneers. Actually, hindi naman ganon kalaki yung kolekt yung pioneer collection ko eh. I mean, I. Yeah. And some some other some other breeds which interest which interest me. Ah. Uh, Ayun, some other breeds in the collection. Custom, I actually won this care of one of the promos, uh, one of the gals, it's uh, Knife Maker Cebu. So shout oh. out to John Robert. Uh, this is an ambassador. Tapos, uh, custom skills, uh, white carabao horn. Wow, nice. Yeah. Thank you again. <laughs> uh, so I, yeah, what another thing? This is not a Swiss Army knife. It's a it's a Swiss knife from Suiza, and I bought this in Bern. So ganun din para um, uh, 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 one of the location one of the location pieces. Uh, one of the lines that I'm collecting right now is the Sengoku Sengoku series. Yes. So, uh, the Sengoku series, okay, parang they were, it's a collaboration between uh, Victorinox with, basta with Japan eh, to, uh, it's inspired by the samurai of Japan Sengoku period. Right here we have, uh, this one is, this one is Sanada Yukimura. Yes. Uh -huh. maybe, not maybe that good. And his crest is at the back. Of course, I'm sure you're familiar with Date Masamune. Yes, of course. <laughs> Date Masamune. His crest. And uh, lastly, we have Mitsunari Ishida. Yan. Ah, sorry, sorry. Teka, mali ako. Ito yung kay Masamune. Ito ang Masamune. Ah, da, da, ito, da, masam da. Ito pa yeah. yeah. Ito pa lang kay Masamune. This is the, this is, uh, this is another Yukimura. Tama naman ako dun kay, 
doon kay Ishida. So, uh, niya, Doc, I saw right now that may, may bumabog na dalawa. Uh, so, there are five or in all. Uh, there's five. Oh, wow. There are five. And I, I just, I, I think those two came out mo, uh, just recently. Uh, uh, and one of those two is Oda Nobunaga. Oh my God. Ang... <laughs> Okay. I think I need one, that. Uh, one is Mr. Kakashi, and the other one is Oda Nobunaga. So really, if you're if you're a Who's fan the other of the one, Goku, sorry? Nobunaga and uh, and Mitsuhide Akichi. Ah, okay. <laughs> but so, but if you're really into the Sengoku period, you really have to have Nabu, yeah. Nobunaga. <laughs> and uh, yeah, kaya pala. I saw that website before. Tatlo pala. So yeah, you're right. Baka yeah, tatlo pala. When when you told when you told me about uh, when you invited me, hmm. I I just I just looked up I just looked it up against the internet. Tasa ni pa ko lang yah may may bagong may tagpat ah. talaga. <laughs> what I like about what I like about this, it came with comes with a box. Yeah, it comes with a wooden box. I mean, very maganda yung presentation nila. Eh. Parang ano, parang mga box ng Higono Kami nila. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it is... Uh, very Japanese. <laughs> very Japanese. So if you're, if, you're into some, if you're into things like that, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, good thing to connect. One of the things that I, I, I also got lucky on was my... Uh, It's the, it's when the Collectors Club here had a collaboration with Victorian. So, nagkaroon ng, ng uh, classic with the Philippine flag. Kaya pala may Philippine flag. It's one of the things, it's one of the things in my collection. Nice. I'm, I'm really lucky to have. Ayun. Uh, aside from the other one one other line that i collect sa swiss army knives are the hunters yeah the no. hunter alex okay so uh, i collected this kasi nagustuhan ko yung forma eh when when the advertisement for the for the hunter alex came out how, how could you how could you not love this breed one handed opening tapos yung Alok scales, alok yes. scales. Tapos, um, when when I saw this, uh, was there? I didn't think that there was anything that could top this one. And then the the red blade came out. And for me, yeah. for me, forma wise, talo nyo yung isa. Eh. Mas magand mas maganda siya tingnan eh. Yeah, yeah, blink agad siya. Eh. Blink agad, blink yeah, agad siya. Eh. Contrast. So, yeah, the, the color is really it's really Victorinox. Yeah, exactly. Victorinox. Uh, only problem with this, it's not really meant for one-handed opening. Although with practice, yeah, you can. You can. Uh, yeah. And uh, they started releasing it as a. My my yearly release the silay. So this is my, this is 2021 2021 limited edition. Ganun din. Para yung nice tiger tiger Yeah. And lahat sila may matching uh, para cords. Lahat sila may kasama, may kasama ng para oh. Except for the 2020 Damascus. Every year every year Victorinox releases a uh, Damascus Damascus breed in, in, in the, the, line, the particular model changes per year so dumano yung pioneer dyan uh, and here is the this one is the Hunter Pro yeah, Hunter Pro Damascus the pattern. Yeah. The pattern. so parang yung Ito yung damas team nila. Yung damas team nila. 
So 2020. It's the 2020 Damascus. So it's, it's not a limited edition of the Hunter Pro. It's a limited edition. It's the, for the Damascus itself, for their, for their Damascus times. Yun. So, yeah, actually, my collection's not that big. It's just, it's just pretty uh, relatively specific to some things. And uh, I do that. I did that so I, would, so I wouldn't get uh, overwhelmed. The thing with the socks, especially the especially the classic, is you can be you can really attach it to your keychain and it doesn't scare people. Yeah. It doesn't scare people like your like your other nice one, carbon carbon fiber. Yeah. Uh custom custom scale. But you're right, it's it's like a keychain. <laughs> it doesn't scare people eh. like your I mean my yung mga ibang yung mga EDC blades mo people see this they have a tendency to yeah yeah I, I know what you mean like even if it's not practical looking ganyan utility tool yeah. lang siya pero pag folding knife parang iba na yung dating sa tao eh, no? so. and the thing is anybody can carry it eh. I really, I really advocate. Uh, I really advocate uh, carrying yours. Everyone, I really advocate that everyone carry a Swiss Army knife. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be the pioneer. The classic is the bare. The classic is the bare minimum. It's it can even be lady like. Uh, sorry, bro. I'm promoting pink right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but, but I'm going to switch up my the colors of my dear. <laughs> my blade uh, on my on my EDC. Yeah. Kaso lang, what I'm looking for is actually the pink alox. Eh. Mm. Medyo wala akong mahanap eh. Oo oh, nga. I haven't that. seen that kaya no? Okay. The pink alox. <laughs> okay, all, I have, all, I have, all I found were these and the problem with the cellular scale is nagagasgas eh. Kaya medyo nakakahinayang eh. As compared to as compared to alox na matabay. Yeah. True. Yeah, but I really suggest that I really strongly suggest that everyone carry. Uh, and these are the least offensive looking blades that you see around. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else, Baba? Wala na rin ako ibang tanong eh. That's pretty much it. I, I, um, I see your collection and, you know, we, <laughs> at least we see the 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 reason why you started collecting para rin siya ano, you know, um, souvenir items and yeah and became really a bigger collection than that so in, yeah, in effect it's just, to... it's, not, it's just a subcategory in my bigger collection yeah exactly my, my bigger collection is uh, is actually traditional blades yeah the one behind you <laughs> so we have we have the Filipino traditional blades uh if I'm lucky, I I I buy traditional blades from other country, from other countries, and especially the ones that I've been to. So you know, I I have I have pukos from Finland, um, pukos from Finland, yung mga yung mga blades na yung Florentino na uh, sa Florence na sa Italy, the Romano sa Rome, slightly different. Eh. Pero I mean and the Swiss Army knives from Switzerland. Yeah. So, as souvenirs, and the Swiss Army knives, as a result, I just focus on the pioneers, the pioneers, the Pioneer X, and uh, Hunter Pro. The other blades are more or less fire, whichever picks my interest. Oh, uh, random, na lang, no? <laughs> <laughs>